there's nowhere to hide from me, Derry. Whatever you're doing, the Mother Superior won't let you get away with it. That wingless globe arm won't stop me. None of you will. What is it between you and fairies? You never have told me why you despise them so much. What are you doing here? <laughs> Isn't it obvious? I came to join in the fun. Oh, I thought you'd be happier to see me. And I will be. Once you've taken care of that problem we discussed. Oh, you mean Zelina? <laughs> you don't really expect me to kill my own flesh and blood for you. Well, that depends on how serious you are about these new beginnings you say you want, because I think one of them involves me. Why should I believe you've at long last gotten over Belle? Because I've finally come to my senses. Belle won't accept me for who I really am. I know you never really wanted to rule alone. Well, you no longer have to. There's just one tiny speck of green in your way. That being said, if you don't mind, I have my own problems to attend to. Which is what exactly? I'm gonna send a message via ferry. It's so funny. Normally when I watch a sneak peek, I can almost instantly gauge where the scene is going to take us throughout the rest of the episode. This one's kind of hard because it involves Rumpelstiltskin's battle, or Rumpelstiltskin's hatred, with the fairies. And we have seen very, very, very little of the fairies throughout the entire six seasons of Once Upon a Time. So I'm really curious to see where the showrunners are going to take us here. Now, a couple of you guys told me in the first sneak peek that the baby in that Flashback is the baby of Jack and Jill, but maybe there's a connection to the fairies and that baby. Who knows? There's, there's got to be some way to intermingle all of this together, because if not, it's just going to be very, very, very confusing. So clearly, Rumple hates the fairies and his message to them to do whatever he wants. I don't know what he wants. And that's actually what I love, the fact that I don't know. So when I watch the episode, I'm going to be surprised. And I think that's fantastic. I think a lot of you know I don't really uh, look for spoilers for the show, for anything, in all, in all fairness. I don't like to be spoiled. I just like to watch trailers and the and the sneak peeks just to kind of get a, a gauge. But in terms of what he wants from them, I'm really curious. I can't wait to see that play out. Now, in terms of the rest of the sneak peek that we got, we got to see Gold Queen. And I'm not a shipper of Gold Queen, but I like when the Evil Queen and Rumpelstiltskin are on the, uh, I almost said the field, on the screen at the same time. Lana and Bobby are just such strong actors that I really, really enjoy the charisma that the two of them bring, and it's really fun. Now, uh, Rumpel hit on a note, uh, or a feeling, I should say, that the Evil Queen had, that she doesn't want to rule alone, but he will not rule with her unless she gets rid of a fleck of green. The Evil Queen is like, I'm not killing my sister. It is not happening. And I really like the fact that the evil queen has humanity. I know that she's essentially all of Regina's darkness, but very deep in that darkness is a goodness, a, a, a very little goodness, but she's not getting rid of her own flesh and blood. She said that. So I do like that. So it's interesting that the evil queen, A, wants to keep her family around because, you know, if she was truly evil, why would she want to have a family? Like, there's no reason if you're if you're evil, in my perspective, you know, if she's just pure evil, if she's all about herself, why do you need anyone else? But she also doesn't want to be alone, so she's still relatively conflicted and developed, so it's, I like that. I do think that's really, really cool. Other than that, uh, we don't really have too much more to gauge with, th with this. So I, I enjoy the acting, I enjoy the visuals. I, I think the visuals, I've said this so many times for season six, have been fantastic. They've been really great. But um, I don't have too much else to say for uh, for what I could suspect from the episode. I really don't know what's going to be happening, which is cool. I love going into an episode and not knowing. This was barely hyped up in the trailer, like uh, Rumpel's battle with the fairies. It really seemed to be a, a, a um, Rumpel going after Belle in order to get uh, the baby because he doesn't want to lose it. Actually, I guess one more thing that just popped into my head is Rumpel said to the evil queen that Belle doesn't accept me for who I am and... I like the fact that he realizes that Belle doesn't accept him for who he is, but at the same time, it's okay to not accept everyone for who they are. 
You know, it's like a horrible thing I know to say, but at the same time, like she has her reasons for disliking him. Like you can dislike someone if you have a valid reason. And I think a lot of the audience members have a very valid reason for disliking him. A lot of the cast members have a very valid reason for disliking him. Let's see, why would Emma dislike Rumpelstiltskin? Oh, I don't know. He t he nullified Hook's sacrifice and let Hook die and then took the darkness back in for himself. Pretty good reason not to like him. Belle, why wouldn't she like Rumpelstiltskin? I don't know, because he's extremely abusive. There's a good chunk of reasons why many characters on the show do not like him, and I totally understand it. So I'm really curious to see where he's going to go. I'm actually looking forward, in some regard, to seeing him just completely given to being evil. I think my main issue with him was, you know, they always tried to show him as being conflicted and torn. And that's what happened in season three, kind of, in season five, you know, in the beginning of five with the bear and the bow, you know, they reformed him. Then they took that reformation away. And in season three, they did the same thing. And then they took that away by bringing him back to life. If they just allow him to fully give in to darkness, I think that's when he'll be an amazing overall antagonist, to have no conflicting goodness and just to be evil for evil's sake. And that's what I thought Hyde was going to be. But if they're going to do that with Rumpelstiltskin, I totally will be okay with that. So anyway, the Evil Queen has morality. Interesting. Rumpelstiltskin is going after the fairies for uh, whatever reason, and I don't know. And uh, that poor fairy's been aged up, and most likely the fairies are going to strike back against the Dark One. So anyway, I thought the sneak peek was uh, very nice. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed it as well. Please share your thoughts in the comments below. Thank, thank you for... So uh, wow. Thank you so much for checking out my review, and I'll be doing another live stream of this episode on Sunday. I'll probably do it when it ends around California time, so that's, gosh, I guess that'll be, a, would that be midnight Eastern Standard Time? I'm going to do it around 11 Eastern Standard Time. That is when I will do it. I was thinking of doing it at midnight, but that's a bit too late. So 11 Eastern Standard Time is when I will do a live stream review of Changeling. So thank you so much for checking out my review. Share your thoughts with the sneak peek in the comments below, and we'll talk real soon. All right, guys. Bye.